First alert forecast though, we have the temperatures that are just a few degrees above average. It's the afternoons that are cranked up. So you can have a light jacket again for the kids at the bus stop. Probably don't want to fool with it though outside of that because that's where it does heat up quite a bit yet again as we start out clear with some patches of fog and around 59 degrees. Your sunrise 733. Again, a couple pockets of fog and then here come a few wispy high clouds. Uh, these are the ones that just filter your sunlight just a bit. It does look more partly cloudy though by the end of the day. So again, we're just starting to see a little bit more movement there before we actually gain some rainmakers. Actually, I guess some would be the operative word there. As we go through the day today, we're going from 59 to start to 77 at noon. Again, quickly warming. Got that light northerly breeze working in our favor if you hide out in the shade with mild humidity levels for your afternoon. Still warm again. 86 your high, mostly sunny, but then we start to see a few more of the thicker clouds rolling in this evening. This is part of a transition to more of a partly cloudy night into tomorrow, seeing some more scattered clouds. So if you're loving the warmth and the sunshine, today is a great day to be outside, but notice all all that warmth low to upper 80s yet again. Forecast where you live 87 Athens, 86 Loudoun and Knoxville. Maryville, you're aimed at a high of 85. Forecast where you live on the plateau, Jamestown and Crossville, 81. Looking at the hills and mountains of northeast Tennessee to southeastern Kentucky, that's 82 today in Oneida to 84 in Middlesbrough, 83 in Maynardville. Far northeast Tennessee, more of those low to mid 80s branching out here, 83 Rogersville to 84 Dandridge and 85 in Pigeon Forge. Now for your Thursday planners, I mentioned we're th starting to see some more of those clouds. So more of a partly cloudy day from beginning to end. That'll actually tuck us in a little warmer. So more of those low 60s to go around to start Thursday. As we still warm up though to 76 at noon, it just slows us by a bit in the afternoon to 83. Still above average, but not mid to upper 80s anymore. The scattered clouds are rolling in again ahead of a front, but we've got to boost the humidity before we can really pull any raindrops out of these clouds, which is why most of the day is just a mix of sun and clouds. In the evening, we could get a stray shower, and then tomorrow night, Thursday night, a few showers move in. Now, most of these are light, but at least it looks like it can drop some raindrops on some of our lawns and gardens here as that rolls through while you're sleeping. Thursday night to early Friday morning, a few showers cutting through our area into Friday. We'll continue with those layers of clouds and then here comes the actual front's broken line. That's why we keep saying about 40% coverage because you're going to get some scattered light to moderate rain on the plateau with some isolated downpours and rumbles of thunder in the morning. Slide that towards the valley midday to early afternoon. There's that broken line again. So some see a few raindrops, others stay dry. Some get a good downpour, but that cuts through the valley into the foothills to the mountains during the afternoon on Friday. Ends up with more of an isolated shower left over by the end of the day on Friday into Friday. Friday night. So I want to add up that rainfall for you too because you can see what I mean. A few light showers. Here comes that broken line. Add it all up. Not that impressive. We're still in that zero to a tenth of an inch of rainfall for most of our area. Some isolated quarter of an inch wants to pool up in spots. So we'll continue to keep an eye on that front for you. But we will blow into town with some breezy conditions. Gusts around 15 to 20 miles per hour Friday through the weekend and it'll blow in the cooler air, taking us from 80s to 70s on Friday to 60s for highs this weekend. Even some chilly mornings in the 40s this weekend into early next week.